FM News. Good morning, it's 8 o'clock. I'm Deborah Birmingham with Oz FM News. Students were evacuated from Holy Spirit High School just before noon yesterday after someone discovered a message that said bomb 117 in a bathroom. RNC and K-9 unit investigated. The building was turned back over to school officials at 1.30 once the threat had passed. There were more signs in the House of Assembly yesterday that the NDP are now seen as the front runners in provincial politics. Liberal leader Dwight Ball took a swipe at the New Democrats for their stand on fracking, which drew applause from the Tories. It raises questions of whether the Conservatives and Liberals will gang up on the NDP to stop their momentum. Information Commissioner Ed Ring has released a report raising concerns about the way the Department of Justice is responding to access to information requests. He says the department was improperly using lawyer-client privilege to prevent disclosure of information that was already publicly available, and the case ultimately had to be settled by the province's Court of Appeal. St. John City Councilor Sheila O'Leary will be holding a news conference today to announce her intentions for this year's municipal election. She hasn't said yet what post she'll run for, but last year...